We've uh, just been making some decisions about the Silverwood School campus. Uh, this is our, our, our SCND campus um, spanning three sites um, uh, uh, across Wiltshire. Uh, it's a, uh, been a significant investment from the council. Uh, we were initially looking at bringing all of SCND provision in the north of the county into one place. Um, it's very clear that we are going to need more provision than a single site can provide. Uh, and so we have just released 3.6 million in funding um, to go into the, the, the two elements of the campus that have uh, uh, historically been in existence in Chippenham and Trowbridge to, to put extra work, extra funding into those sites, bring them up to a better standard and to have that campus operating across the three sites. This in essence gives the, the ability for our, our young people with SEND to, to attend a primary school and then graduate on to secondary school in the same way that any other children in Wiltshire would and, and, and that's felt to be a real advantage to that system. We've had our six monthly update on the progress that we as a council are making towards tackling climate change to, to decarbonising. Um, it's a really encouraging report, it highlights the work that's been going on uh, uh, across both the council and across uh, wider Wiltshire. Things like the Solar Together scheme, um, where we are, are, are seeing more than a thousand new um, solar panels coming into, uh, being put on people's roofs in Wiltshire um, a, 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 as a result of that, that uh, combined purchasing power. Um, work that the council is doing around gearing up for biodiversity net gain, uh, making sure that we are both protecting our environment and putting in the sensible measures to decarbonise the council and assist with the wider decarbonisation of Wiltshire. Wiltshire is very much leading the way on this. Um, we've been recognised by the local government sector as being, being very much a leader. Uh, it, it's work we have got to build on, but we've got to do so in a way that's sensible, that, that's sustainable, that's cost effective. Uh, so we are, uh, all the work that we've done as a council so far doesn't just reduce our carbon emissions, but it saves money in the process. Um, and that has, has seen us reduce our emissions by almost 80%. We've just released the first, uh, first ever Wiltshire design guide for, for public consultation. This is a document based on the, the principles of design that are enshrined in the Building Better, Building Beautiful program that government has been putting forward. Sounds a bit dry and technical, it isn't. It's about how we make sure in the future that, that through our local plan, through our planning process, that the places we all live in are, are designed to be nice places to live in and not simply designed by developers for the maximisation of profit or, or the maximisation of the number of houses that can be fitted into a certain area. There are a lot of elements to the guide, whether it be about um, the need for, for greater focal points for communities, um, about sustainability, about the types of houses that should be built, uh, uh, about the orientation of houses in terms of solar gain. Uh, it, it, I would urge you all to go and have a look, uh, have a look at the, the, the design guide and, and feed back your comments on that process so we can use it to make the guide even better uh, before it's adopted as supplementary planning guidance.